Also new tonight, a crackdown on prostitution along the so-called Bissonette track. The infamous area on Houston's southwest side has been a hot spot for prostitution for years. Now, every night, Houston police are blocking off two key side streets, the Center Parkway and Plainfield. Our Matt Doherty there live tonight and getting feedback from business owners in the area. Matt? Yeah, the spot that we're in right now is commonly called the track. Business owners are telling me that these barricades over here, they're working. The sex workers we spoke with, though, say they'll find a way around them. When we first saw her, it was about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. She was standing outside of an elementary school, getting a ticket for being on a public street in a manner of undress. We didn't, we're not bad people. We just do what we do. Mozzie, as she asked us to call her, agreed to speak with us as long as we didn't show her face. The self-described sex worker tries to make as much money as she can before the sun goes down. She knows what she's doing is unsafe. One of my friends just got killed like, like a couple days ago. It does scare me a lot because I have kid. I have a kid, you know. Mozzie says police have stepped up their enforcement effort on the track. Last week, police started a new operation, cutting off some of the side streets along Bissonette overnight. The streets, they say, are walked the most by the sex workers on the southwest side. Oh, no. No. I don't think that's going to stop anything at all. Half naked person or virtually naked uh, woman would just enter your restaurant. Bimbola Ogajimi owns the finger licking restaurant off of Bissonette. He's been here for about 21 years. He says the new police effort is working. The difference is significant. This cell phone video was taken inside of his restaurant during an altercation with one of the women. Ogajimi says his employee was pepper sprayed. Now he's hopeful they won't have to experience anything like that ever again. In the early 90s, the Bissonette area was a thriving corridor. We had the Westwood Mall, we had banks, we had restaurants. But over time, it's just deteriorated. And a lot of that is associated with the prostitution, with the drugs, with the gangs. Houston City Council member Edward Pauland helped bring the HPD enforcement operation to his district. He says he hopes to keep it here as long as the city will allow. We have a will, there's a way. Christina Shu is one of the owners of this office building off of Bissonette. She says the sex workers and the Johns have been using her parking garage as a bedroom. The problem is not just pro prostitutes alone. It's the buyers. The buyers are here. If there's no buyer, there won't be any prostitutes. She says the barricades have cut out the demand side of the equation. Tell the buyers that the street is closed. They don't need to come here. Matt, a couple of quick questions for you. What's the cost of this new crackdown effort and who's paying for it? Yeah, so we asked uh, HPD, the mayor's office, as well as the council member. None of them could give us a total cost for this operation. However, they do say that taxpayers will be funding it all. Back to you. In the meantime, it's priceless for those business owners that we heard from. Matt Doherty tonight, thank you.